Okay, today we're going to be seeing how close you can get to a drop of a neutron star. So I have a cube here, just at normal earth density. Put it on there. It weighs around only five grams. Now I'm gonna do my magic touch on this cube. So now this is getting really heavy for the size of it. Now you can see how heavy it is. Put it in there. It weighs 50 grams instead of five. Okay, now let's increase the density even more and go. Whoa. Holy cow. Oh, it broke my thing. Dang it. Broke through my jar, it got so heavy. Holy cow. So you can see it's extremely heavy now for the size of it. Barely pick it up. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Ow. So I would say this weighs around one pound now. You can see how heavy it is here. Ow. Okay, I'm increasing the density. I can't even hold it anymore. Oh, it went through the table. Okay, so we're gonna need a stronger base, but let's just go ahead and turn it all the way up to neutron star and see what happens. Three, two, one. Whoa, it just shot through the earth. So right now it's basically vaporizing the mantle in front of it and leaving a trail of hot plasma behind it. Okay, now let's redo this experiment with a magic stand that can support the weight of the 100 billion kilograms in that tiny little centimeter cube there. Now because this is so dense, it has its own gravity force that I can feel. And what this feels like to me is that when I start to walk closer to it, it kind of feels like I'm starting to walk down a steep downhill because the gravity is pulling me towards the neutron star instead of straight down towards the earth. So I kind of feel like I'm walking down a hill. So even just sitting next to it on a table, it's like gravity is pointing that way towards the drop of the neutron star instead of straight down towards the earth. Uh. Whoa. Okay, so I managed to get some water around this. So my hand will never get pulled towards the neutron star stronger than water. So as long as I keep it in water, I should be able to get to as close to it as I can. But what happens when I get close to it is it's like there's a, this impenetrable layer. I can't get past because my fingers are less dense than water. Basically, I can't penetrate this layer of water because the neutron star is pulling down on the water no matter what, harder than it's pulling down on my finger. And so no matter what, I can't get through the layer of water around the ball. So even in this situation, even when you have water around it, you're protected from the gravity, but that means that you're gonna end up with a very small layer that you can't penetrate with your finger as long as you're less dense than water.